Hello everybody, uh, I pray you in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever you are. My name is uh, Gila Mosoba. I come on today, I come today to share with you uh, some more God because the Lord wants you to know exactly what is the purpose of your life on this year. So my question is where is the door to your mission on the earth? We are going to talk now about the mission. But the first things we can know, let's try to figure out about the mission. What, what, what the mission is? What is? The mission is accept of the work or a, a duty to accomplish it. I repeat. The mission is as a concept to work or a duty to accomplish it. All of us in this world, you know, we have a mission. Even the one you neglect here, he was born on a mission. The mission is given to you, brother and sister, to accomplish it. I repeat. The mission is given to someone or to you. The mission is given to somebody, to person who is able to accomplish it. The mission is given to angels. The same, the mission is given to devils. The mission is given to the servant of God on the year, on this year, on this world. And like the same, the same of the Satan on the earth. So each of us has a given mission. Our purpose on the earth is not in vain. All of us have a mission. Some know their mission perfectly and others they know they don't know uh, uh, what is it what their mission and live uh, just uh, 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 like a beast that you have no purpose on this earth. This kind of person brother and sister are often sacrificed and they die like Shabbat's bird. They are never to rise and fly like a rooster or a hen. Spirits are, are used and them to, to, to accomplish some mission without their knowledge. You will see maybe for example a prostitute. She used it by an very spirit for given mission. The person thinks that he is, is, is the master of a destiny, but he is contrary and sinks into addiction, and he cannot uh, he cannot do anything without it. And often says, "It's stronger than me." He always said, "It's stronger than me." You know why? Because he has a mission. He may not know that mission, and some cannot know the mission. And they are used like a, a like, just like anymore, like a beast. And sometimes they are sinking into the addiction and say, "This is stronger than me. This is stronger than me. I cannot let it down. I cannot forget it." Brother and sister, I think it's not your, your your mission. Those who know their mission, brother and sister, they they they, they act like raptors, and they have a piercing eyes. As the eager is a raptor and the virtuoso is a raptor. But both, both of them are discouraged by the quality of life. In fact, the eager is a mission. The eager is a mission of God and the virtue is also the mission of a devil. But in any case, they are aware of their mission. They know what exactly they gonna do. They know their mission. Eagle or virtue, they know exactly their mission. Who are you? An eagle, who are you? The virtue, are you working for God? Are you working uh, 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 for Satan? Where is your mission, brothers and sisters? You, you, you may have a mission, 
but you don't know what is the time. You, you may have a mission. You may work for God, but try to figure out what is the time. You have a mission, and there is time to find it now, to find out if your mission, what is it? What is your mission? And how is it? When it's going to be done, your mission? What would it be then? Few people in this world really wonder what is it they call on this year? What is your mission on this living? The day you will know your mission and the God of which you were created, you will understand this world out the way. Maybe you will understand. God can help you to understand this world another way. The day you will know the mission, the day you will know your mission and the God of it, which you were created, you will understand this world another way. The Bible says in the book of Colossians, in chapter 1 and verse 16, For in him we were created all the things that is in heaven and on the earth, the visible and the invisible things, front, dignities, dimension, authorities, everything was created by him and for him. So what is your mission? What is the door of your mission? We were created by him and for him. Listen, brother and sister. Even Lucifer was created by God and for God. But he rebelled. Now he began to the devils in many and also sent them on a mission on his own benefit to order to inherit the earth. They inherit the earth. They are virtue. The people who vote for us, the law to amplify sins and sin is a legalism. Their mission is a filter and their own witches. The same. It's the same like Jesus. He was born somewhere. He was born at Bethlehem. He was born somewhere for a mission. We know. Who is the, the, the father of Jesus, Joseph, and his mother, um, um, uh, 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 Mary? He lived there next to the door, but only and simply he had a mission to save the world. He said in the book of uh, uh, John, uh, chapter uh, 19, uh, verse uh, 3 everything is accomplished, everything is accomplished. This was the which of God, a father, who gave the mission. You were born, my brother, listen, you were born somewhere. We may know your brothers, you, we may know your father, we may know your mother, but you have a mission and that has nothing to do with them. In this world in which we live, there are agents of the evil and of God. You have to choose your sign. You have to choose your sign. Your friend or brother is not always what you think about. Or your wife, even so your children. You are from the same family, but you don't know each other at all. You don't know exactly who, who, who they are. Each of you has a mission. Conscious or not, one received God's mission to save and the other received the devil's mission to destroy, maybe. But in the same family, you were born in the same family. The one received the mission to save, to do good, to do work, but another one in the same family received the devil's mission to destroy. And there's so much camouflage, and if God opens your eyes, you're going to see the, the, the end the destroy's life. So, where is the door of your mission? Wonder yourself, brother and sister. What is the purpose of your life? What is the purpose of your mission this year? When a man lives in this world, when a man lives this world, he dies, but one thing is remembered from him. Only one thing. For Jesus, we can say, he came to save the world. 
Jesus came to say the word. For Hitler, maybe we say, the mashuk, the shore. For nation there, maybe. We can just know what is the mission and so on. Your death can show your mission, brothers and sisters. So where you die, when you gonna die, what people can talk about you, what people can talk about you. So what was your mission? What is your mission on the earth? Do you think that you come just to sleep, to eat or to walk? only and die a time for you brother and sister to ask god what's the goal of the mission of your life on the earth of course he will tell you he will tell you if you ask god he will tell you you are given with strength and ability to accomplish the mission but be careful be careful be careful to not do before the time or after the time. We don't, we, we, we don't talk about uh, uh, 12 years old of Jesus or he's uh, uh, 20 years old. We often remember the moment that the, the moment when he, uh, uh, the mission began and the end. Uh, it was around, not, not in Iran, it was at 30. Uh, yes, yeah, or that Jesus began a, a, a love mission and he died a, 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 a 33 years old. He said in the in in book of Luke, This spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me to announce good news to the poor. He sent me to heal those who are, uh, are broken, to proclaim deliverance to the captive and to the blind, the discoverer of the sun. To return the oppression to free. That was the mission of Jesus Christ. So, what about yours? What's the door of your mission, brother and sister? So, when you're gonna start, what would you gonna start? It's time now to ask God what you are doing right now. What you're gonna do? What you're gonna do tomorrow? Is today, tomorrow, or after uh, uh, tomorrow? Ask God, He can show you what you're gonna do. Moses grew up at Pharaoh's house. We're not told about this uh, uh, 15 years old or 20 years old, but we just remember the time that he, he, he began his mission at, uh, at uh, 80. Yes, it's 80 years old. At 80 years old, Moses began his mission. The door of Moses was open at 80 years old. Where is the door to your mission? Do you know it? A corner, brother and sister, a corner fitting and a current just for one call, for one purpose, is producing meat or milk. If you eat, if you walk, if you dress, if you are businessman or not, wherever you do, you have a mission. Let me tell you, you have a mission. Ask God to know it. Ask God to show it. Ask God to show it to you. This mission that, 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 that will make you talk before or after you die. Otherwise, you will die without accomplishing what you were called to do. Knowing this time will help you to, to be a, a well fixed and know uh, uh, what, what you're going to do. In this, you will not tremble before anything. You will not tremble before a, a, a mountain because you know exactly what you got to do. Moses and Elijah was appearing to Jesus at the mountain of uh, uh, transfiguration to give them uh, uh, further instructions. God can still tell you and remind you if you ask him. Where is the door of your mission? Be careful, be careful. Don't miss your time. The mission is interesting to you. As the angel are on a mission to support you, you such as the, the team are on a mission to support those who walk or, or offer the evil. We are in the world where everyone fights according to the mission that God has given him. We must empty the, the opposite side. We must empty the kingdom of evil. 
we must trick it down. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. That's what the Bible said. You have a mission. Try to know it. Ask God what he say. You might spend your time looking for just a little fish when you can fill a whole net. You just spend your time searching, looking for a little fish just when you can fill a whole net. Wake up. Wake up your mind, brother and sister. Be able to wake up your mind. So I won't finish. Hold on the time and serve God. Ask truly and He want to what He wants for you. Ask God truly what He wants for you. Age purposes. But what is the purpose of your life and the earth? If you think that you have a mission and that you don't know exactly what to do, you don't know how to live God in the will of God, Peter, renounce to sin. Sons repent and accept Jesus as the Lord and save you. Confess from your mouth and and that him to walk with you. He can walk with you and you will see where you are where neighbor. God can help you. God will help you. Thank you, brother and sister. I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. So you can share this video on this audio and God will bless you. Try to remember your creator, try to remember your God, and you try to know what is your purpose, what is your mission in this world, what's gonna be uh, the time, what's gonna be the time. God bless you, thank you, next time.